Okay, story time. A lot of people keep asking me, why 56 prayer? Now, that is a great question. To answer this question properly, we have to go back 10 years ago when Ben's Pure was an 800 total bounty hunter only account who never knew he would do any skills, no kill no monsters, and not quest. Now, that is the big problem. 10 years ago, I decided to not quest and I trained my stats. Now, Hindsight is always 2020, and yeah, I should have known PvP died and Jugex would never give a shit about the game and I would move on to PvM and skilling, but hey, I never did, and I unfortunately never did any prayer quests. Now, when Desert Treasure 2 came out, I had a choice. Did I want to be cooked out of these five bosses, or... Did I want to complete Swan Song? Now, if Swan Song was the fucker that got me 56 prayer, do I regret it? Not really, no. However, that did get me 90 combat. But the good thing is, now I am 90 combat, I can gain 7 prayer levels without leveling. This means I can get 60 prayer without leveling combat. Now, why would I want 60 prayer? There's two big reasons. One, Modmank dropped a hint, basically in the PvP Discord, that chivalry <laughs> might be getting changed. If it doesn't, I can still access the best in slot prayer gear for one defense. Now, this is Zealot robes I'm talking about. So, I will be going to get Zealot robes on the way to 60 prayer. Hmm, okay, I've just done the maths and I need 78,735k XP till 60. Uh, you get 120 prayer per, which means I have a chance of 656 burns for the Zealot. That's quite rare, to be honest. I. Hopefully should get the whole set, but I'm gonna stop at 60 even if I don't I'm not gonna get 61 because that will be Disgusting. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. So there's one key. Let's see what let's see what happens. Do I get a second? Nice Yay, okay first piece of Zilla. We got the boots. Let's go. Oh Wow Zilla's helm. Okay. I was wondering what the hell that thing looked like. Well, that's actually the helm. We will take that. Let's go. Oh, oh, thank you. Zealot robe let bottoms. We're getting very close to 60. Well, no, we're about halfway. We just need the body and we are done. This is so close, please. It's inventory. Let's go. Yes, we did it. Oh, it's such a spoon. Let's go. Zealot robe top unlocked. We've completed the set with 2.5 KXP till 59 prayer. So we actually really spooned this set. Very happy about that. Let's go. Nice and easy. So now I've got the full set, I'm going to quickly show you why I wanted it. Because if you look at the full Zami robes, the Zealot top and the legs are actually better. So it's plus what? Plus 16 of there. This will be less because of the helmet, which is terrible. So the helmet and boots are actually really bad. These two bits, if you look, are actually better than the Zami bit. So two more prayer. So in a normal set where you go for usually a robe top, you just wear Zealot top and the bottoms. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't suggest going for it for prayer levels, but because I was going to go 60 anyway, it's nice to pick it up on the way. And collection log slots. I think one of the best looking pets in the entire game, especially for one defense pures, is the armor pet. Now, if you've never seen a pure do armor, especially in solos, it might be quite interesting. So we don't actually use food because if we eat, we can't deal damage and we spend so little time in the room. Penex is the meta and it can get quite frustrating. Oh, I'm dead. No. But it's definitely worth going for. Oh, nice, from a minion, let's go. Oh, nice, got so shot one. Oh, Armadale Hill, let's go. Very nice. We will take that on the solo. I'm gonna die here. This guy, right, listen, this guy got the Vetion pet at 18kc. I'm killing Vetion now. And he's got it at 45. This this is a troll. He's gotta be a troll. This game has gotta be a troll. Surely, right? It's just, it's gotta be a troll. Damn it, man. Two pets of 45 KC, and I, oh, I just, I, unless I get it this KC, there's no justice in this game. Yeah, there's just no justice. <laughs> Fuck. No live audio on this clip, but I thought it was pretty funny because I got a tyrannical ring into a Void Waker hill. Now, that's pretty lucky, right? It's a shame it's not pet luck, but, you know, RNG, pretty cool. 
So the Wily bosses did just get updated, and what do you guys think? I think they're really fun, to be honest. Just grab a few friends from a clan or of, of friends list and just go kill the bosses. PKs will come and you just murder them. Yeah, it's just really fun. Um, definitely going to be really fun doing the new low-level multi-spot, but for now, this is content, honestly. It's fun, it's good money, and you get a bit of PK in. in. Oh, okay. Finally. Crazy. 1499 kills, and this is my first ever Chromium ingot. I've got three rings, sorry, three Magus pieces, but this is the first ingot. So weird, but we'll take it. And on the way back to Duke, I just realized this is the 500th collection slot log. Nice. We're getting there. We're like, what, one third? One third of the way there? <laughs> we'll get there. Oh, wow. Okay. Did not expect a Virtus Robe Top because that was a really, really shit kill. I was like AFK and watching TV shows. A nearly four minute kill and I just got 74 metal. <laughs> I'll take that. Very nice. First Master Casket of the video opening and naturally we get... Oh, it's actually unique. Okay. Second Master of the video and we get uh, more collection log. We take... So I just joined, this was like half health. Someone got a treasonous ring. Can I just yoink it if they don't come back? Huh. <laughs> I'm about to find out, I guess. I don't know how that works. Huh. Yeah, there it is. Yoink. I guess I'll take a free treasonous ring. Why not? Thank you, thank you. Oh my god, is this a casket? It is a casket, and the loot is. Wow! Have you ever seen what 20 Pures fighting next looks like? Well, join the Clan Pures and you'll find out. We do fun events and one of the events was the 20 Man Next trip. Why not? And we actually got... Oh, very nice. Very nice. Actually got a drop. Really? Okay. Do the deal with ventilated and uh, get another hill. It's uh, free money. I just really got a void worker hill again in a venny. Oh my god, these vennies, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm not quite sure why, but everybody in the CC was running Hespori to try and get the combat achievement for their, I think it was 38 seconds, and I must have spent 8 hours doing this, resetting constantly, and it is mind-numbingly boring, but we finally got it in the end, I'm going to show the full kill here, and it was satisfying. It was satisfying to finally get the KC after so long. I'm talking to hundreds of resets for this goddamn Scythe to hit, but we got it. Oh, finally, so long, not even just today, just just like eight hours, nine hours of running this resets and we finally got that fucking PB, let's go. And this magic tree here should be, boom, 20 mil farming XP, let's go. Ha, one day, not, not today though. 20 mil runecrafting XP, let's go. 50 mil woodcutting XP, still no pet. I love this game so much. 130 million strength, let's go. Very nice. What do you know about 20 Pures at Corporal Beast? Well, join Pures if you want to do this fun stuff. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just saying. So, Volumor came out, and the first thing I did is I went to the Coliseum, I got Spectre 90 by the D-Claw dude, realised I'm bad at the game, then went to do some Hunter contracts. And I saved up a hundred, and I opened them, and wow, I actually got the pet. I didn't record it, because I was also recording music, and the video wouldn't be displayable on YouTube, because that, well, YouTube's YouTube. But we got the pet! This account finally got a pet! We're at, what, 8.5k Vision now? Vetion, even 8,500 Vetion, uh, no pet, but we got, we got a parrot, so hey, we can't all be winners, 
I got a fucking pet. I'm so happy. Moons, the content they said you need defense for. On launch day, we all tried it. And honestly, it's fairly doable. The only one that really sucks right now is the Blood Moon. And I want to show you right now why it sucks to do it on one defense. I know I can't moan. It says it's defense uh, locked content. But we're going to try it. I'm going to show you what it's like to kill the Blood Moon on one defense. The only one not really doable on the pure is this one. So I've been in here. Uh, I don't know what 10 brews for 10 brews and he just won't go lower than 200 ish health. So yeah, I've run out of combats now, but the point still stands. Every time you hit it to about this, it'll just heal consistently. And even when I was hitting a 60 swing per, it just won't go lower than 100. And this is what we found on day one doing it as a pure. This is the only one pures can't really do. And then we finish this phase. And it'll be back to fucking 200 probably. And it, it's not like it can kill you. It's so fucking free. But because the heal rate is so high, I'm guessing because we are one defense. Oh, 102. This could be it. 75. Uh, he's back to 140, 107, but yeah, every time it hits, he's back to 161, its heal is way too high. However, looking at the recent blog, they say they're going to lower the heal rates so people can actually do it. Because, yeah, this is aimed at defense, stra uh, defense builds, or, you know, just normal accounts, sorry. I mean, it makes sense, but I kind of feel... If I can kill it, I shouldn't get that hard punished where I can't kill it. Does that make sense? Am I making sense right now? But yeah, the point is, it just it heals too much. And maybe there's a, a forbidden hidden strat that someone doesn't know yet to do it. But if you look at the other two, how free they are in a one defense pure. And then this one doesn't go any lower. It's weird because I kill it for the quest and it didn't heal as much. So I guess that's different. Because the second you fight the non-quest version, it's just like consistent heals. Way too much healing. And I'm dead. Heal! Uh. But yeah, I can I can literally stay here for 20 brews and it just won't go lower than 100. I've done this a few times. I know a lot of pures in the clan have done this and the results are the same. It's just not really worth killing as a pure, whereas the other two are. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Okay, going into Eclipse now, and I just want to show you how easy this is compared to the blood. The blood, I went in with 20 brews. 20 brews, for God's sake. And I still didn't do it. I should probably... <laughs> Move behind the shield without talking. So that's the Eclipse down. Use six of the food that I actually gained from the mini game. Compared to 24 brews for the blood one, yeah, it's quite a difference. I'm just going to finish off the ice one in the same inventory. No uh, need to get more, to be honest. One thing I don't like about this ice one is currently my scythe is in the uh, frozen weapon. And I'm just saying. What if I like DC, or oh, I heard a story about someone six hour logging, logging back in and their weapon was gone and Jagex was like, oops. I kind of wish the scythe was kept in your inventory and not randomly in the game like that. That feels a little bit sus with a one bill weapon, I'm just going to say, especially with Jagex's like potato code. So, you know, but as you can see, same inventory of food. It's, it's, it's so fucking free. Uh, so yeah, even though this, this, I guess, entire content was supposed to be for people with defense, quite clearly you can see that the only one even remotely hard is the blood one. Really? Did I just get phased? When is one health? God damn it. And there we go. It's dead. So, yeah, pretty much the only hard one is the blood one. So right now, the meta a lot of pures I know are doing are just killing two out of three, which is fair. I think, what, is it 66% chance at loot or however it works? I'm not really looked into it, but because this has no pet and the loot's kind of worthless, don't really see many pures doing this anyway. It's just nice to do it to know that pures can do this content that not really meant for us, to be honest, considering it says it's a vast... Uh, dependence on defense. So, anyways, this is two out of three, and the loot will be. Yeah, 
yeah so that's why a lot of people aren't actually doing this content because the loot is worthless and the uniques are also worth not much from 700k to 2 mil so uh, unfortunately Barrows is better money than this right now so this is Iron Man's content hopefully to come back and boost the general loot or the uniques somehow gain value but I don't really see that happening so yeah it's nice to know we can do it I guess so what is the current goal of this account now we have our lovely Quetzal well it's still unfortunately trying to get Vetti on Trying to get Callisto or trying to get Duke as the pet. They are the three main goals. And the side goal is Armor Dial. That would be really nice to get Armor. But you never know. I could get lucky on any of those four. I mean, I'm pretty much due at least one of them at this point. Other than that, it's getting XP and waiting for this low level multi hotspot zone. That'd be pretty fun to pk with a clan on and again guys if you want somewhere to play and maybe maybe you're pure and you've realized bounty hunter is deader than your sex life maybe you want to come up and hit pures it's a clan that focuses on pvm and skilling we do a bit of, we do a bit of pvp but for the i'm gonna say for the vast majority of us we don't because a lot of people were pkers and then instead of spending 15 hours in a bounty hunter to get maybe 10 fights you know, realistically, it's like 25 minutes of standing still and doing nothing and getting no fights. Would you rather play the game rather than AFKing? And like, let's face it, PvP these days is killing rev bots or just chatting about your hunter. The game has more to offer than that, I promise. If you want to come over, come and say hi. Honestly, it's definitely worth looking. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna go back to pet hunting and hopefully get the Vetion or the Callisto or shit, maybe even the armor. But other than that. We keep moving. See you later, guys. Have a good one.